Hi, I'm Patu from Free FinCal and in this video let's talk about how huge profits from equity or uh, any kind of investment uh, does not mean huge annualized return as well. Uh, in the last video I talked about how uh, insurance policies exploit the idea of time value of money and provide us with uh, very poor returns. This idea of time value of money is also uh, embedded into market linked instruments and we are going to look at uh, what I call as a sensex staircase to understand uh, the uh, statement written there 600 percent profit but only 10 percent return. So this is the sensex daily price chart. Uh, this is the closing price. The dividends are not included. The dividends would uh, make this chart move up a little bit. Uh, but if you look at this, it kind of gives you an impression uh, this is the price versus the date. It kind of gives you the impression. Look how much the Sensex has zoomed up uh, in the 2000s, and and then after 2014 onwards, it zoomed up further and so on. Uh, this is a wrong impression because you're looking at uh, this chart in a normal, uh, you know, you know, you're just looking at the price versus date. Instead of that, you should use what is known as the logarithmic chart. So you should take the logarith logarithm of this um, price, and if you did that. The graph would look like this. It will look. Uh, uh, I've used the logarithm to the base ten, or log ten as it's called. And the advantage of doing that, there's nothing. Uh, uh, I mean, there's the same graph. It looks quite different. But uh, what has happened is that you notice that the details in this region, in the earlier part, uh, was, uh, you know, was uh, kind of uh, subdued because of the huge increase in the later time. But when you plot it in the logarithmic scale. Notice that the earlier details have been pulled out and kind of the uh, newer uh, or the recent uh, development has been kind of subdued out. But uh, there is a one great um, importance uh, that comes out by using the log scale and that is this growth from let's say 2 to 2.5 is exactly the same as the growth from 2.5 to 3 or 3 to 3.5. So every 0.5 width uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, gap or the rectangle in the vertical axis that you see that all those rectangles have the same height and they represent the same growth. We can see how this helps us understand the nature of uh, equity investments in the next slide. So now have a look at this center uh, region first. This is the growth of the Sensex right from here. This is 3 in the logarithm to about uh, 3.7 in the logarithmic scale. This is the, uh, uh, the huge growth in the Sensex because of the Harshad, primarily because of the, the bull run generated by the Harshad Mehta scam and associated stocks moving up, more or less like a domino effect. Uh, this huge increase happened in 450 days, that's like about um, a year and uh, three, four months. Just 450 days. The beauty of the logarithmic graph is I take this height of this rectangle and shift it, let's say I shift it right here, the height of the rectangle is just the same, but I just pull the width out and this, the growth from this point here to this point here, this has got a height or a, of this much. This height is the same as the height in this, in the early 90s due to the Harshad Mehta uh, uh, scam. So, the Harshad Mehta scam saw an increase in the market over a period of 450 days. The same increase, the same uh, amount of increase the, uh, in terms of the, you know, the height took three years during the bull run uh, between 2004 to uh, 2002, 2003 to 2006 or so. It took three years and after the market crashed in 2008, it took 9.5 years for the same kind of increase. So from this point right at the bottom just before the uh, Lok Sabha election and the Congress was re-elected uh, and just so 2009 elections from that point it took nine and a half years to get there the same height. So the height of this rectangle all the rectangles that you see are the same. So the height of this rectangle is the same as the height of that rectangle. So a 450 growth day growth uh, it took 9.5 years and again before the Harshad Mehta scam the same kind of growth about took about 5 years in the 80s. 
So just imagine the kind of feeling uh, that a person would have got while they were investing during the scam. The, the market got just zoom like anything. Uh, you that when it happens over nine and a half years, you don't feel that. You don't feel like uh, in, initially it had zoomed up, but then after that it moved up, went down, moved up, went down, and so on. The same. So that's the, that's what I'm uh, trying to convey, and that's the power of the logarithmic graph. It teaches you time value of money in just one slide. So. Uh, just imagine how people in this re uh, in this time would have felt and how they would have felt when it fell down. You can also um, find out this fall and this fall, uh, how you can actually, uh, uh, you know, measure this fall and, and compare this with this fall. You can actually pause the video and you can measure it. For example, this step, uh, so all these smaller grids that you see, they're all the same. So that's like uh, uh, one, two, three, and a little bit more than three. And this is one, Two, three, and a little bit, almost four. So it's like almost exactly that uh, height uh, as as uh, the 2008 fall was just about comparable or a little bit more than the Harshad Mehta fall. But you don't see that when you plot the graph uh, in, in the sense x k uh, in the in the normal uh, you know normal price chart like the way we usually see. So that's the power of the logarithm. It it, it pulls out the uh, data and makes them equally spaced so that uh, every uh, rise or fall can be compared uh, so very nicely. There's also one thing that you can do, and this is what I call as the Sensex staircase. So you can see that uh, uh, from this point to that point, it took about a few years. So there was a few years of sideways market, then the market moved up, few years of sideways market, then the market zoomed up, then almost a decade of sideways market, up and then a few years, uh, then it moved up and then. So that's the kind of, um, um, you know, uh, up and uh, down movement that you have in the equity market. That is, the market zooms up and then it does nothing. Just the, the price just goes around uh, about the same point and then it moves up on the zone. So you need that patience. This is where people get impatient. The people are worried about crashing. The during an investment, especially when you have many years before you need the money, the biggest enemy is the sideways market, where nothing happens. You won't get any return. It looks like uh, the market is going nowhere. And then if you, if you just wait, 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 and then it will move up. You got to wait if you can, provided your goals are very far away. Uh, you got to wait before it zooms up. If you get tired of it and pull out or not invest money, uh, then uh, then you lose that uh, growth. So this is the kind, the sideways market is a perfect time to uh, invest more money. I had already written that this is, again, if you look at the recent data, I think this is always uh, another sideways kind of market uh, developing and also it crashes further or moves up. At least in the large caps, there's a kind of sideways market developing. Like the mid caps and small caps, I think, it's fallen down uh, much more. So uh, that's the staircase that I'm talking about. The next step may take years to come. So it's like you're the same level for years and then it moves up, then same level, then it moves up and so on. And again, you can see that uh, so much more clearly in the uh, logarithmic chart. So let's get to, uh, okay, you can also do a uh, logarithm of the date. Of course, it will be a little difficult to do it. But if you do a logarithm of the date, then what happens is this gap. So the uh, height of the rectangle and also the uh, width of the rectangle, every one represents, uh, everything is, is the same uh, time period. So this width, so it's like 1, 2, 3, 4 and almost 5 uh, widths and this, this sideways market took uh, like 2.5 widths and so on. So you can also measure the widths by using a log log plot, but of course that's, that's a bit of an overkill in terms of analysis for equity. But if you are interested, if you are kind of a geek, you can try it and uh, get more insights about the risk. So let's get to the uh, example that I talked about in the opening slide. So let's say a man buys one unit of the Sensex, assuming it's possible. Just days before the Harshad Mehta scam broke on the 30th March of 1992, the index was about 4,000. Sensex was about 4,000. And uh, over the next 25 years, he says, I'm going to be invested no matter what. In it's long term. I'll get a lot of money. And, also, uh, and he held on to his investment. Of course, he got a lot of money. There's no question about it. But uh, on 24th March 2017, let's say the index was 29,400 and uh, he checked his returns. So the actual profit was like, it was like 619% increase. The money has increased 690%. That's a huge, absolute profit. But if you look at the annualized return, uh, before including dividends, it was about 8%. So 
it's only 8% i asked this question uh, in all my talks i even asked this in the facebook group pasan ideas well um uh, 600% profit how much what is the annualized return over 25 years and that all sort of answers people say 40% 35% 25% but they do not understand that uh, it could be as low as 8% of course the dividends have to be included dividends can be anywhere between 1.5 to 2% if you include that then i will argue that you also also have to include expenses because you cannot just in, buy a unit of the census without uh, paying money to somebody then there, there is also the possibility of tax now so that dividend uh, of 1.52% will almost get erased so you will be will be getting anywhere between 8 9% uh, over this period 600% profit but only 8 9% returns immediately it sounds uh, you know unbelievable but that's because of time and you can see that in the graph i'll show you There's one more example. Uh, the census closed on four thousand, around four thousand on uh, February twenty second, ninety four, and was again twenty thousand four hundred uh, in, uh, in February two thousand fourteen. Again, this is like a four hundred percent increase, or a five times growth, or a five x growth. You might call that a multi bagger. But the annualized return is only eight percent before dividends. So it's again if you eight nine percent after dividends and tax and so on, expenses and so on. So that's the time playing a role here, and you'll see that in this graph. so you can see here uh, this is the sensex growth so from when you invested that's the blue line it goes like that and then it moves up and down like that and if i could calculate the annualized return of the compounded annualized growth rate uh, which i have already explained uh, it kind of uh, hides away the volatility so if i had to consider a smooth 8.4% investment it's possible to get 8.4% investment uh, in this time period because fds were available ppf was much higher during this rate and so on so it's very 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 achievable so actual compounded smooth journey was like this but uh, although you got huge amount of money the 600% profit or whatever 400% uh, in this example uh look at the impact of time over almost 9 years the money was more or less at the same value over 9 years nothing happened there is where the smooth uh, increase in the compounded uh, examples it had gone up that much and then it zoomed up it overshot the smooth investment but fell back down again with respect to the uh, investment and then it moved up and then kind of uh, merged out so that is the time playing the role so the time uh, uh, the time spent during a sideways market or the time spent after a crash and, and subsequent recovery all does will eat away into the uh, annualized return of course the, the absolute profit is the same i'm not saying the person did not make money the person made a lot of money but the, you must understand the role of time and how it uh, reduces the annualized return you can see that in another example so this is the actual journey uh, over that period you can see the up and down how the volatile the sensex has been and uh, if you calculate cagr you don't take care of this and uh, people as you look at these uh, things and say oh great 25% investment is great or uh, 15% investment okay even an 8% investment can be great please recognize that 8% annualized return For, for an example that, that you just saw here, that is also a great investment because you made the four hundred percent profit here. That's my, it's quite fine. But so that's that's the reason why I keep saying the the don't associate compounding with equity. You will make mistakes because the volatile uh, nature will make you uh, assume you know you are anyway neglecting the volatile uh, uh, nature when you take CAGR. But when you actually consider it, many different possibilities. occur and you cannot uh, uh, fat on those so this is another simple illustration let's say you have so the, i have talked about a 400% increase over 25 years right so let's assume that 400% increase happens in just one year from imaginary investment from super investor uh, happens in one year that's an annualized return of 400% because one year is the same if that 400% increase happens over two years it's an annualized return of 123 look at how much it has dropped from 400 bam Over three years, seventy-one percent. Four years, forty-nine percent. I can see it keeps dropping down. The annualized return keeps dropping down with time. As the time increases, the effect of that is showing in the annualized return. And that's just what we have seen in the Sensex case. So from uh, from huge three triple digit values over twenty years, it drops to eight percent. So it's still a four hundred percent increase in the investment. So it's nothing wrong with the investment. Or oh, please don't say I'm uh, being I'm having a negative mindset and so on. Please don't get into that. Uh, but i'm just telling you how important time plays a role uh, it's not just the growth in the money it's about how long it's not about 5x or 6x it's about how long it took for an for an investment to uh, 
get to 5x or 6x. So the, the essential conclusion is the same as any uh, as my previous slides. Don't uh, you need patience to invest in equity because the staircase is like a very flat staircase. The next step you don't know where when it will come. But as long as our personal needs are far away, yeah, we should wait. But but we should also keep in mind uh, that just waiting is also not a great idea. We should also uh, manage the risk and take out money uh, from time to time by rebalancing, have a proper asset allocation and focus on the corpus, not on the returns. Like in this case, the returns are very poor, but the, the, the gains have been there. So if you actually focus on a target corpus and not worry about returns, uh, the, the person would have been all right. And if the person had booked profit from time to time, there's, there's no problem at all. So that's the uh, message aside from the fact that uh, time value of money plays a crucial role in equity, but the way it happens because of the volatile nature uh, is something that you cannot intuitively understand uh, just offhand. So I'll catch you again in another video. Bye.